Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today I am going to be showing you guys my very quick, very simple, minimalistic setup for sewing. Now, I've recently moved into a studio apartment and with studio apartments, there's just really no space. So I tried to reduce and keep everything to a minimum as far as setup, as far as the little space that I use and how I store everything. So really quickly, the way that I so is I store my sewing machine in this kind of cabinet area that's a part of my apartment. It's super, super, super helpful to have. And I'm glad that it's a part of the apartment and I didn't have to buy a separate storage for this. I put my sewing machine at the very bottom. I put all my supplies towards the middle of the little cabinet thing. And then on top I have my Cricut stuff. So relatively I can fit all of my stuff in one place and it's just all secure and there's just a lot of space to fit stuff in and it's just not all over my apartment. That's the one big problem I had with my room, the one that I used to record in. I put every, my whole room was a sewing room and my bedroom. So it was really like, ah, it was, it was kind of stressful. Recently I've been watching a lot of Marie Kondo and she's been really inspiring me to like be very minimal about the excess amount of stuff. So whatever I have in my storage is just what I need. It's not an excess amount and all the stuff that I have there is just exactly what I need. Everything else I kind of tossed and threw away. All this old stuff that I don't even touch, I threw that away. Now what I'm just trying to get rid of is all the extra fabric that I have, which I will take care as these videos start rolling in. So the way that I set up my sewing area, it's very simple. I got this foldable table off Amazon. I just pull it out from under my couch, literally pull it out from under my couch, and then it folds open to like a picnic table. And then on top of the picnic table, I just put my cutting mat. It kind of gives it that sewing vibe without doing too much to the table. I was thinking of customizing it, but that's just a lot of work. On top of the cutting mat, I just put my sewing machine and then all my tools will go around the little area. It's such a big table and I don't think you need a table any bigger than the one that I have. So that is pretty much my sewing setup. It's really simple. It's, it doesn't take that much space and I can kind of move it if I need to because it doesn't take that much space and all the stuff is in storage so that's not in the way as well. Um, let me know what you guys think about this really quick sewing setup video. I really just want to put something on my channel. I know it's been a couple of, actually it's been a couple of months now since I've put out a video. Just with the move and you know the lifestyle change and just being an adult, because that's the real thing. It's just taken a lot of my time and I just wanted to you know take care of that first and then now I'm going to be rolling in with the videos. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Hopefully you guys are watching. If not, um, if you're new or if you're old, uh, thanks for dropping by. I'll catch you guys in another video, which I will be posting soon. I'll try to do a weekly video as I usually did in the past. So be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I'm gonna start saying hello world from now on. So hello, 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 hello world. See ya. Peace.